Hey gems, welcome to my first of a series of DIY videos I'm going to be doing on my channel throughout the month of December. Today I'm going to be making a canvas sign and it is going to be awesome to either give to a friend or family member for Christmas or you can use it to decorate your home for the holidays. So let me go through the things that you're going to need. So the first, first thing you're going to need is a canvas. This is an 11 by 16 canvas. Then you're going to need some paints. I have teal, yellow, white, and gray. Not sure if I'm going to use all of them yet, but those are the uh, color options I chose. Then you're going to need a few paint brushes. I found this little pack of five at the local grocery store. You're also going to need a very thin paintbrush and a wider paintbrush to paint your stripes that we're going to be doing. Then you're going to need a pencil, a ruler, some packing tape or duct tape or scotch tape or masking tape, any kind of tape that you can find. Something to put your paints in. I do have a paint palette somewhere in my house, but I don't know where it is right now, so I'm just going to be using this lid. And then lastly, I printed out my letters that I want to use on my computer. I just used Microsoft Word and chose a font that I uh, liked, and I printed it out. So the first step you're going to be doing is you're going to be making marks on either side of your canvas. You also want to decide if you want it going vertically or horizontally. For this project, I chose vertically. And what I did to make it super easy is I actually just measured the width of the tape and marked it on my canvas. Then you're going to be taking your strips of tape and you're going to be creating a pattern on your canvas. So your lines, when you paint them, are going to have a very nice straight edge. So let's get our tape and start taping down our lines. So once you have all of your tape on, now it is time to start painting. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my teal paint, and this is Sky Blue by Deco Art, and this is Crafters Acrylic Paint. I'm going to give it a really, really good shake. And then with my white paintbrush, I'm just going to start painting in the lines. And where we put the tape, I'm actually going to be leaving that white. You can paint over it white if you'd like to, but since the canvas is already white, that's what I'm just going to do. I'm just going to leave it so it's a little one extra step that we don't have to do. So there is our first coat, and you can go ahead right over this. You don't really have to let it dry. Um, I found when doing canvas paintings like this, you can let them dry if you want to, but it's not absolutely necessary for this project. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my second coat on. Alright guys, so our paint has dried, so I'm going to very carefully pull this tape out and see what we have. canvas. I am actually extremely pleased with how this turned out. Now, if you don't want to actually paint the white, what you can do is there are a couple little lines that are uneven. You can take a really thin paintbrush and go over it with white, but I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to leave it how it is, and I am already super duper excited on how this turned out. So, the next step you're going to be doing is taking your little stencils which I have right here, and you're going to be placing them on the canvas where you would like them to be. So as I said, you want to make sure you choose if you're going to be doing it vertically or horizontally. I'm doing it vertically. So I am just going to take my little stencils and I'm just going to place them on the canvas where I want them for right now. Make sure they're even, spaced out nicely. You're just going to take some regular old scotch tape and you're going to tape down the corners so your um, stencil stays in place. Now the next step, you're going to be taking a mechanical pencil. You do not want the lead because you do not want it to poke through your stencil. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually just going to be tracing the letters over the stencil and that way it's going to be making an imprint into the canvas itself so we can go ahead and paint our letters on. Okay, so I have finished my little stencil, so I'm just going to very carefully peel these off. 
And you're not going to be able to tell on camera, but if you do look at it, you are going to be able to see the stencil where you put it. So I am going to be taking some gray paint, and this one is called Storm Cloud Gray, and it is by the same Deco Art Company, and a very, very thin, thin brush. So again, give it a really good shake. I'm going to put some out onto my little tree here. And you can use whatever colors you want. You can go red and green. You could go blue and white, like I am. Um, you know, really, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to take a very, very, very thin paintbrush. And I'm going to start actually upside down because I'm a lefty and it's kind of easier for me that way. And I'm just going to dip my brush into the paint and kind of wipe off the excess. And I'm just going to start drawing in my lines and filling it in. Okay guys, so I have let this dry overnight and now we're gonna add a little bit of a flare to our canvas. I went to the dollar store, actually just Dollar Tree, and picked up a 10 little pack of battery operated lights and we are going to put those in our canvas. So all you wanna do is you wanna turn your canvas upside down and then with a pencil, just kind of mark where you would like your lights to go and then we're just going to poke through the canvas with a pen. So you want to kind of do it this way so you can actually see because you don't want it really poking through maybe like a main letter, um, maybe just around it. So I'm just going to take my little pencil and I'm just going to make a couple of marks where I would like my little battery operated lights to go. So there's 10 little lights, so we want to make 10 little dots around our canvas. So once you have all of your little markings on the back of your canvas, before you go ahead and poke the holes, you want to make sure that your lights are going to be able to reach through each hole. So I'm just going to kind of drape them over the holes to make sure that I can get them in the right spot, that they're not too far apart, meaning. move the tenth one over just a little bit. Alright, so now that we have all of our holes, we're just going to take a little pen. You can use a really small tip knife or even like a super duper small screwdriver and we're just going to go ahead and poke little holes right through our canvas. Now that we have our little holes in our canvas, we're going to string the lights. So we're just going to pop them in just so the, the light part is poking out. You don't want to put the entire, um, you don't want to put the entire light through so it's poking out a lot like that. Just where the actual light is showing. Alright guys, so this is the finished product. I am so, so excited with it. As you can tell, it is all lit up and it looks awesome and in the back you can just keep it just like this. You can tape it down or just basically, I just taped the battery pack just so it wouldn't fall out. But there is our final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that little red button below and subscribe. Become a member of my M's Gems family. Don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know if you guys make this, please, please Send me pictures on social media with the hashtag DIY with M's Gems, and I'll put it right here for you guys. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media sites. They're all listed in the description box below, as well as a bunch of other video links I think you guys might enjoy. Don't forget, I am doing a ton of DIYs and Christmas slash holiday themed videos on my channel throughout the month of December, so make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss anything. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video.